to another episode of ENA Blogs. Uh, sorry, it's been a bit slow recently with the with the uploads. Uh, George and uh, myself and Hugh have been extremely busy at work, um, all in different industries. Hugh's self-employed now, and he's just so so busy. So his fishing time has just gone straight downhill. And he's just bought a lovely jet ski, so we probably won't be seeing him on the bank anytime soon. And if we do, he'll be jumping through on his jet ski, so that could be quite fun. Um, but yeah, fishing front myself personally. I have probably been getting out the most, been doing some little store concessions around the Wimborne lakes and a couple other little lakes. So I'm going to run you through some little captures which I've been having. Um, yeah, and there's been some, some fun some fun little captures. So we'll lead on to the first one. Uh, the first one was down just on Packles actually. Lovely little common. So yeah, we'll run the footage and yeah, cool little capture. Okay, so you join me down at Kingsbridge, down on Packhorse, and uh, just managed to stalk this lovely little common out the edge. A bit of floating bread. Yeah, we're getting back. So yeah, so that was probably one of the better average carp in um, Packhorse. Obviously very pale, but it's a very cloudy lake, but to have it off the top, great bit of fun. Again, just a short session after work. And yeah, so it's a little bread flake. Um, yeah, so it was good. So we lead on to second caption. This was down at um, Creekmore Lakes on the big lake. Found this little corner and there were just so many fish in there. Um, I don't think you can see from the video um, them coming into the little spot, but I'm, I've caught it three or four foot off the bank and the fish was nearly sort of breaking his back out of the water because it was so shallow and that was just in a little dart mix and it was, I think it was a little tiger nut actually um, I was going to say it was a good couple of months ago now but yeah, great capture, really good scrap They're quite hairy, I had to go and get the waders because I actually thought it was it come off so I waded out there and it was still on there and just hand lined it back into the net so yeah again, cool little capture and I think it was a little ghosty if I remember rightly so yeah, so we put the footage on for that one Down at Creekmore Lakes, and this is my prize. Lovely little ghosty, ghosty sort of common. It's gorgeous, great condition, and yeah, a real, real fun scrap. Hopefully, the camera works good it's on the iPhone. Yeah, good times are getting back. So, yeah, again, great little capture down at Creekmore. That's my second fish out of there. Um, and then gone feeding on this another corner off the top, but just couldn't get a bite. The seagulls down there, so that was good to watch them feeding and very confident, which is good to see. So potentially when it's sunny again, I'll get back down there and hopefully get one off the top. Um, so then, yeah, the next capture was it was actually here on the lake. We're down at Widgeon. Me and Hugh have just filmed this little piece for you tonight. Um, yeah, down on Widgeon. It was actually a recapture. Uh, I don't know. If in my last video, I might have just put a quick clip of the picture up. Um, and it was a little fully scaled mirror, but yeah, had it again, cool little fish, down the edge, little pink little wafter, which I've been talking about in my next captures, um, dark mix, hemp, 
and it just straight off, literally 10, 10 or 10, 10 seconds. And on that session, I actually met a guy called Morgan. He was fishing on um, Welly and he had a lovely, I think it was 18 pound, five mirror. So yeah, great capture, Morgan, and I'm, I'm glad I could help you on that capture, so well done. And so yeah, so we lead on to today's session. Literally got down here, sort of three, four o'clock, and just mooching around on Welly. It was actually quite busy, there's quite a few people down there which I think there was a match on Pacos, so they sort of all move on to the lovely little lakes. So yeah, I just slotted in on the channel, managed a nice little mirror, so that was cool. Actually, I think I believe I lost that fish two weeks ago, so to finally capture it and get it on the bank, got some lovely shots by it from Hugh, so that was really nice all to right. see. So just down on a quick, literally afternoon, Sunday afternoon session, down on the Whaley Lakes, and um, yeah, down in the channel, just whacked out a little pink. It's actually a fruity pop-up, and I've made it into a wafter by just soaking it over the past two, three weeks. And it has rattled off within literally two, three minutes. Um, there's a few fish passing, passing, through, the passing through the channel. Um, it's almost like a little motorway for them. They just go into the shallow bay and they just love it. And I'll put some dark mix hemp out in the, in the channel and off it's gone. Good little fight. And um, luckily Hugh's literally just come around the corner to meet me for this little session. And yeah, I mean, he's an absolute gorgeous one. I believe I lost this one a couple of weeks ago after my uh, little recapture of the little mirror from Widgeon. So to finally get him and have a look at him on the bank, he's, yeah, he's a very cool little chap. Lovely scaled one. I'd imagine this is maybe one that's breeded on or could be a, an original. I mean, it's he looks pretty uh, a bit of a warrior. So yeah, we'll get this chap back and it's a good little capture. Um, and then the second capture this afternoon was down in the little snaggy area where I did that video last time. Really, really clean comment. Um, I'm pretty certain I've seen that one in there before, but it was just pucker, pucker fish. And that was caught in the little fruity pop-up, but I've been soaking it in this salt and vodka and spicy E for the last for three or four months now. And it's actually turned into, I, I do trim it down, so it basically wafters, wafts a, above all the all the crap in the water right, underneath the water really um, it's on top of the leaves and the twigs like I said last time so yeah again little dark mix over the top and it just I mean Hugh's behind the lens now and I mean the fight was just crazy it was Hugh mentioned it, it was like a dolphin it jumped out of the water and it was very hairy literally bang bang straight in the net and some quick put pictures so we got a bit of footage on those two so we're, we're on those now all right so we're still on that Sunday session and um yeah, just moving on to, to showing fish, to be honest. And this lovely little common, uh, again, I think it's one of the stockies, but it's, in, it's a lovely and dark fish. It's, it's in great condition. Um, yeah, so simple tactics again, the dark mix hemp, they absolutely love it. Soaked in that milky, and then a bright one on top. And yeah, it's working every time, so we'll get this one back. Um, and what George and I actually heading off to Sandhurst, Yeatley, in a couple of weeks time. So yeah, by the time this video comes out, we'd have been there and hopefully caught 40 pounders and all that malarkey. And yeah, so there'll hopefully be a video on that. If there's not a video, um, it rained and we didn't end up going. No, we probably blanked, but no, we should be right. So but yeah, apart from that, that's about it. George is still doing his bits on Broadlands. Um, so he's got some clips coming out on that. So that should be good, good and fun to watch. And then Hugh and I will probably be out on the back of his jet ski catching bass. So that could be a video coming soon. So yeah, thank you very much for all the support. And if I do catch one on the widgeon this afternoon, I'll also video it quickly. But if not, thanks again and all the best.